tried to set the good streak, but uh, we've got to start another one. Is that kind of feeling <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. I mean, uh, listen, we had a that was a good streak. I mean, we never talked about it. We just played each game, executed each game, and uh, you know, streaks are meant to be broken out. So, so uh, you know, we came here. We knew this was going to be a tough game for us. We didn't play extremely well at home, uh, but we gave ourselves a chance. And that's all you can ask for. And uh, the best thing about this league is you always. Most of the time you got another one, um, less than 24 hours, and uh, we definitely have that. What do you think bogged down the offense for you guys in the fourth quarter? How many shots? Kyle Corbin missed three open threes. Has he done that since the streak started? Nope. JR missed two open threes. I missed some shots. Listen, we, we executed offense, especially to start that fourth. We did have two 24-second shot clock violations that we didn't like, but. Our guys, when we get the ball to in the fourth quarter, had some really good looks. Just didn't make them go. Yeah. The whole second half didn't seem like you had, seemed like you got one shot at the basket. It was it. There wasn't a lot of offensive rebounding. Was that the case of going small, or, or what do you think? Uh, a huge offensive rebounding team. I can't see. You know, especially with our number one rebounding guy has been out since November first. You know, so, uh, and that, that's they rebound. They defense rebound extremely well. You know, not only from their guards, but their their bigs as well. You guys knew. Depot was having a great year coming into the night. What got going for him in the third quarter in particular? Uh, his shots, you know, and once they got the penalty, he started getting calls going to the basket. Uh, but he still wasn't even, he wasn't even making his free throws, you know, at that point. But he was making some shots. He started up making a couple threes, a couple pull-ups. Some of the same pull-ups he missed in the first half were contest. And uh, so he's been having a, a really, really good year for his team. He worked out. He was saying, Jim, and time in Miami. Have you, do you notice when guys like take that next step in terms of preparation and, and things of nature and how it plays out? Well, sometimes a lot of opportunity and good confidence. I can't. He's got he's got an opportunity. You know, from Nate McMillan and those guys, and they've given him the confidence to go out and no matter make or miss, get a good look and keep shooting. You know. And, you know, like he missed three or four straight threes. Some of them didn't hit the rim. Some of them would hit the backboard. But they get they give him the confidence to keep taking them, keep taking them. And then he makes the, you know, the the, the back between the legs on Kev to, to kind of put it away. You know, put him on six. LeBron, what's different about this Pacers team than the one you faced last year and the years before, particularly with their offense? Not much. I mean, listen, you got to. Take away the, the head of the snake, and that's been Paul George, and now it's Ola Depot. You know, and all those guys work off of one another, and it's always tough to play in this building. It's always been tough to play in this building since I've been, since my first year all the way to the playoff series and regular season games. So, you know, not much. They're playing with a little bit more speed. Um, you know, but they've been doing that over the last couple of years, though, when, um, you know, David West and, and Hibbert, and, you know, when it was uh, more grounded pound game. You know, kind of, you know, when they went to other teams. So, um, but it's not, not much. Not much of a they had 15 threes tonight, 16 the last time you guys played. And tonight, feel more like they were making shots as opposed to you guys not getting, not getting out there. Well, the first two threes, there was no contest on Darren Collison to start the game on timeout. Um, after that, I think uh, all the way up until the last one by Bogdanovich, where we kind of messed up a defensive coverage. He had a wide open one across from our bench on the right wing. Other than that, we got some really good contestant plays. You know, the deep holes ones, uh, to Thad Youngs, to Corey Joseph making two, even Lance Stevenson making one early in the game. Um, the first time we played them is nowhere near the way we played that game compared to two. Uh, all right, thanks, for, thanks everybody. Thank you. Sure.